Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today I've got a little bit of a treat for you. I'm really excited to show you these sets of pencils. These are Colorista pencils by Spectrum Noir. They are extreme budget pencils, honestly. This set of four, which you get 12 pencils in each, so I've got 48 pencils, was 12 pounds. Yes, you heard correct, 12 pounds. You can buy them in individual um, boxes too at $2.99. When I looked and saw they were Spectrum Noir, I wasn't quite sure whether I had misread it or not, the price. But that is indeed the correct price. We've got four sets here. So I have done little swatches ready for you. And instead of swatching them out, we're going to test them. And I really, really want to do a Rita Berman uh, picture. But... It is a test, so it's not going to be a full colour with me, so I don't know how far we'll get. So let's go through these sets one by one, and then we'll look individually at the pencils. So, this is set number one. If I bring you in slightly, let's hope you don't face plant like usual. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so this set is what is known as Perfect Portrait. Now, they come in these little cardboard sleeves. I've kept it undone because my hand's... Obviously, you know I have difficulty. Um, come in these little plastic sleeves. They give you a little swatch on the back and they tell you about the pencil. So it says they are a 2.65 millimeter core. They're wax based, pigment color and self blending. Okay, so high quality pigment for bold, vivid color lay down. Wax based formulation for layering and blending. Sharpens, um, sharpened fine point for precise, accurate fills. Well, I can, I can tell you they do sharpen to a precise point. Perfect for all kinds of colouring and creative design. So, when you take them out of their little cardboard sleeve, they come in this little plastic flimsy tray. These are $2.99 a set, folks, so we can't expect the earth of them. We have to be nice. So, let's have a look. <laughs> We have to be realistic, is, is what I'm saying. What are we looking for? Perfect portrait. So I've done a little swatch card here of the colours. And these are the names. I really like the names as well. So Platinum Yellow, Amber Glow, Pink Eggshell. You'll have to excuse my ink smudged and ruined the pink eggshell. Rosy Blush, Dusky Taupe, Vanilla Tint, Peachy Hue, Hue even. Light Auburn, Natural Brown, Brown Sapia, Dark Umber and Tawny Brown. They are beautiful colours, aren't they? So if we look at the pencil itself, we take it out. They are a white pencil, but what is gorgeous is there is no metallic printed on it. No metallic printed. Sorry, I'm making you go blurry. Hang on. Let's block everything else out. The printing of the name is in black really really easy to see and then on the other side you've got the name of the pencil colorista by spectrum noir now i've been on their website and spectrum noir are saying these are brand new so i think i was just lucky when i came across them on amazon let's do a bit of a comparison with a uh, prisma so they i would say are slightly thinner than a prisma um so, although the barrel is matte, it's silky smooth. It's quite slippy, actually. But they, they feel really nice. They're light. They feel really nice. They've sharpened really well, which I did before I came on camera. And what else was I going to say? Uh, there's one criticism that I have um, of them. And maybe they're going to develop more sets. I don't know. There is no black or white, so you're going to need your own black and white if you buy this set. Not a problem, because I always use Prismas anyway. Um, so we are limited on black, whites and greys. But maybe because, I, like I say, they're brand new, I don't know. Um, they um, may well come out with some more. So, the other sets we've got. So we've done the um, Perfect Portrait set. This is the Natural Landscape set. Uh, my hands, can you see the trouble I'm having today? My hands are awful today. I don't know if it's because it's cold, but um, then we've got Bright and Vivid. 
I thought I'd do it this way and so I'm not boring you with another swatch and we can just test them out. I want to play to be honest. Okay and then we've got floral sensation. So if I can move that up and put them like that so you can see. No you can't. Let's come out a little bit. There we go. I thought I'd done them small enough that we could get everything on. Oh Lucy come on. Come on love. You can do this. Oh my hands. Okay. There we go. That's better. Now we might be able to come in a little bit. They have got incredible names. Beautiful pigments. Um, but obviously they're limited in colour because they're only, there's only 48 of them. Like I said, I don't know um, if Spectrum Noir are planning to bring out more colours. I wonder if they're going to see how um, well they're received within our community before they decide. I don't know. All I can tell you is, at the moment, all I've done is sharpened them and swatched them on this um, cardstock, which is really smooth paper, and they've performed really well. So I haven't done blending, I haven't done any other tests, I haven't tested them on any different papers. We're going to do that. So, <clears throat> you've got the, the four sets, Bright and Vivid, Natural Landscape, Floral Sensation, and Perfect Portrait. Now, I brought a little case, I will link it down below, it's a little 72 set case, um, individual sleeves which I really like so you can get your pencils in and out easy enough. Um, way too much for this set at the moment, um, but I am going to, obviously I'm going to keep my swatches, but I'm going to put them into colour order in my pencil case so we can really then have a look at when we're doing the colouring all the colours that are on offer and I'll just keep these little swi switches, little swatches out so that we can use those. Alright folks, I'm going to go and try and choose a page. I really fancy a Rita Berman so um, hopefully that will come off and you'll be able to see that. So I'm going to go off and do that, organise them into my little case so that I'm not struggling with those little plastic trays and we'll meet again in a second. Right folks, so I've organised all my pencils in the pencil case and I've chosen a page from my spring walk but I'm doing it in the compilation book. Um, so, here's my pencil case and I've just organised them as best I can into um, colour orders, usually from lightest to darkest. Don't they look good? They look really nice, don't they? <laughs> okay, so I thought we would start over here with this one. Now, um, I have actually coloured this one before, but um, I'm thinking that actually that will take the, the, any, I don't have to choose any pencils or things like that. I can just pick the colours that I've already used and we can go for it and have a bit of fun. So we're going to focus on this little one here. So I want to do the eggs, so we're going to pick out the colours. I'm going to use sky blue, I will show you. Um, we're going to use teal blue and azure blue. Teal blue and azure blue, okay. So because they are black print, I'm hoping that I can just, instead of doing swatch cards, I can just show you like this, they should pick up. And the teal blue, the tips on these, look, let me show you the swatch. Um, the, um, what am I trying to say? Or well, blue teal rather, is darker than the azure blue. So you're gonna have to be aware of that. So the tips actually don't really match. So this one is actually lighter than this one. So that would confuse people. So you're gonna have to be aware of that. Like I said, they are budget pencils. So, let's go in. We're going to put a little bit of dark around this edge. So I'm going in with my... Which one am I going in with? The blue teal. So that's going to confuse me. So this is my first go with them on paper. Other than my cardstock. Which they worked really well on. They are laying down like an absolute dream. Oh my gosh. Now, if I'd have done a colour test and blindfolded somebody and given them these, 
to test you would not there is no way that you would think that was 2 dollars for this set now I'm going in with the azure blue let's see how they blend so they are wax so we should expect to be able to smush them and layer them in just come up this side they're not scratchy oh, I'm so impressed okay don't get too carried away Lucy you've done half an egg <laughs> I might go back and get myself a spare set because I do believe if I release this video um, that you guys are going to go and snatch up the stock that Amazon's got. I might want a sort of a bit of a greeny blue in there. Have we got one? We've got wave blue. Let's try that. Let's stick a little bit of wave blue in. You can't even see that card. Wave blue. Let's put that in. Just so we've got a bit of a greeny. Ooh. That's better. So this is just, I'm um, just me playing. So I might swap out that um, azure blue. Let's swap that Azure blue out. Let's put that back in the pencil case and we'll try another egg. So I'm going to go in with my blue teal <coughs> where I want darkest. They do lay down really nicely. I can go back over and over and over. Let's bring that up. What do you think, folk? I can't believe it. Two ninety nine. Right now, I'm going in with what wave blue? This one, which has got more of a bluey green hue to it. Two ninety nine. Now this is Rita paper. It is nice paper. It's quite smooth. So um, I will have to do a little bit more research and practice and do some on Amazon print paper and see how they go. But so far, I'm really impressed. I mean, my gosh, £12. I think that's £12 for 48 I think that's probably cheaper than um, Crayola, isn't it? I mean, Crayola aren't cheap, are they? They're not cheap pencils. Let's go back over now, like I normally do. Can we deepen that colour up? Yes, we can. Look at that. They're not soft soft. They're not Prisma soft. Nothing's going to be Prisma soft, is it really? But they are soft and they're keeping a nice point. I'm going to put a little bit more pressure on this sky blue one. A little bit of crumble. Tiny, tiny bit of crumble. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm really, really pleased and excited. Okay, so should we just, I don't want you to be sat here for a million years. Let me put those to one side. Let's do some browns. Um, it's a small set, so, um, but I think they've actually picked out some really nice browns. We've got some browns here. So let's go from dark. Let's get a dark, a medium and a light. So if we go dark umber. Uh, dark umber, there we go. Tips are quite a good match there. It's a really good match actually on that one. Let's go dark umber. Let's do uh, that. Might be too close. Let's try it. Dark timber. Let's see. Dark timber. Quite a good match. However, look when we put them together. Is dark timber dark? Or I'm going to have to test it. Let's have a look. Which one's darkest? That is dark timber. Okay, and that is dark umber. They are so similar. So I'm going to choose a different colour. I'm going to stick with my dark umber. And then we've got sort of ready browns. 
So, what about if I go in with, hmm, let's do brown sapia. That looks nice. Brown sapia. And then we can have a little bit of, hmm, it's hard when you've really got 48 colours, people. What else have we got here? Nothing. Okay, um, let's go in with a little bit of... Let's try this to start with. Right, so I'm going to use... What have I got? Brown sapia and dark umber. Dark umber, brown sapia. Oh, decisions, decisions, folks. Okay, so let's go in with our dark umber. It's all the fun of playing with new pencils. So I'm going to put the dark umber at that edge and let it fade out. And do the same this side. Then we're going to fill that with um, the brown sapia. Just see what happens. Oh, it's very pretty. Can you see how, how nicely they've blended? Really nice. Okay. Shall we do... Yeah, let's mix it up. So let's use the brown sapia and then we're going to add a little bit of the um, chestnut brown. Let's do that. So let's get the chestnut brown. And we're going to use, so we're going to use chestnut brown and brown sapia. Okay, so let's go in with our brown sapia here which is our darkest of the two. Fill up that. And this edge, and then just let it, let it fade away, which they do really nicely. And then we'll go in with our chestnut brown and see how that works. Ooh. Oh, I'm really, really pleased. Oh, whoop, dark umber. Okay, we're going to try some reds in a minute. Let that fade out. And then I'm going in with our brown sapia, same as we did just there. And then I'm just going to use those to mix up that, the colours in that um, nest. Let's darken that back up. Can you see that, that how they've blended? That's gone over that um, dark umber really nicely, that chestnut. I really like it. Oh, it wasn't dark umber. I've just messed that up. <laughs> oh dear, let's go back over that with chestnut. We used brown sapia and then chestnut. I think. Brown sapia and then chestnut. All the fun of getting to learn new pencils, folks. There we are. I think that'll look really cool if I do that as the nest round there. Right, let's get some reds. <clears throat> what reds have we got? No on that one. Let's have a look here. Is there no like really true bright red? Yeah. So we've got these are more orangey. Let's do poppy red. Let's go to my reds. Um, let's do where's poppy red? Um, poppy red and then we can go into let's see fiery red let's come out a minute so you can see what I'm doing we'll go into from poppy red into fiery red and then maybe into a little bit of orange citrus let's see, yeah see look that almost looks like a sort of terracotta colour, but it's actually that. So you do need to swatch them and be careful. So let's have a go with this feather at the bottom here. Oh, <laughs> should have done my swatch cards after all. Um, okay, what did we decide? We decided on poppy red. So let's do that at the bottom here.
bring that up actually let's just keep going let's see now that is a true red I'm going to come back down again I'll tell you the pencil names just so you can see how they're performing really this is not a colour with me it's just I want you to show you how they're working so when you go over it, you do get a really nice red. Points are staying the same, which is really interesting and good. Right, let's bring that and fade that out. Bring that up. Do the same on this little feather. Just so we can introduce our next red, which is um, fiery red. Let's bring that in. I hope there's a difference enough in tone when we pull out. There is. It's very, very much more orange. Look at that. Let's do this one. My hands are playing up today, folks. I know I've already said that, but so the thumbs out. <laughs> you can see the difference on camera. I hope this is more appealing than just a swatch. Let me know if you'd prefer me to just shut my face and do a swatch. <laughs> I won't be offended. <laughs> well, I might if you put uh, Lucy, shut your face and do a swatch. <laughs> um, orange citrus. So, this one. I really like the black writing. They're easy to find. Look at that. They're blending. Gorgeous. Now, there is no way playing with these I would have thought they were £2.99. So I've got them off of Amazon, but I've been on um, Spectrum Noir's website and they're selling them on there too. Um, and they do say they are brand new. So let me go back in with that um, fiery red. I'm really impressed, folks, really impressed. I expected them to be really hard to work with, but they're not at all. So I'm going over that orange just to see what happens. Can you see that blending? That is really quite impressive, isn't it? For a little tiny sack. Right, we need, we've got some leaves. Let's try our greens. Oh, they've got some nice greens. Let me show you. They, look at those greens, some really pretty greens. So I'm more drawn to um, sort of olivey greens, but so these sort of greens I really like. But for this, because I want it bright and vibrant, let's see what we can do with the colours. Um, let's choose something different. Let's go in with, I think we'll try foliage green, which is nice and dark. Um, obviously you've only got 48 colours, so you're going to have a big array missing at the moment, but you can mix them with other sets, they're wax. So we've got foliage green, let's go in with woodland green. Do they match? Not bad. What's the foliage green like? Yeah, not bad. Okay, and then let's take, well why not, let's just do... Yeah, let's do nettle green. That looks like a nice combo. So let's have a go at that. So we're going to go in with our foliage green. And I'm going to start at the bottom. Gosh, I hope you can't hear my washing machine. The bearings have gone on the drum. So we're, I'm just running it into the ground before I have to bite the bullet and buy a new one. And we're going to go in with woodland green. That's lovely, beautiful. I can't describe, that feels really buttery, this one. Feels really buttery and soft, that pencil. And then um, nettle green. Oh, yeah. Oh, beautiful, easy blending, look at that. So I'm going back in with our foliage green. Do 
and our woodland green. Oh, is that right? Yeah, woodland green. Go back over that um, foliage green. And then take our nettle green. Ooh, look at that, just how they go over each other. Oh, so beautiful. Oh, people, people, what do you think? Oh, right, what have we used? Have we got anything else? Well, we've used orange and red, greens and browns and blues, other than yellow. There isn't really anything else to show you, I don't think. Um, I'm going to finish this picture really quickly. I'm going to go off and just finish that picture and I'll come back and show you and give you my initial th thoughts. Well, you've seen my initial thoughts. I will tell you how I feel about them once I've played properly with them off camera and um, I'll let you know. See you in a sec. Okay, folks, so I've finished as much as I'm going to do on this little page at the moment with the pencils. Right, so what I did was I tested Posca's all the little dots are Posca's. I tested a Jelly Roll pen. What else did I test? Oh, and the white Prisma, just to see how they would work. Posca's fantastic. So that's a tick. Jelly Roll, um, this is my favourite one, one I use all the time. That works really well. This is what did the white on the eggs. Fantastic. And I used a little bit of Prisma White to just blend through to lighten up that egg, just to see what would happen. And they work amazingly. Look at that. Not an issue at all. Or it works amazingly. So we can mix Prismas. So if you've got a smaller set and you want to sort of enhance your um, range of colours without um, spending a fortune, you could. Now, before I go off and leave you with your thoughts of these pencils, firstly, I think they blend beautifully. Secondly, they, they sharpen really well and they keep a point. Let me show you the greens, for example, just because they're right next to me. That's what's left of the green points after I've done this image. So obviously my lighter one, nettle green, is my blender one, so that will always have more wear on it because I press harder for my blender. Um, yeah, um, what else can I say to you? Two ninety nine, folks. Um, don't expect that you're going to have a full colour range. This is going to be, um, at the moment, I would use it to enhance another wax set of pencils. Keep my hands out of the way because I'm making the picture blurry. Um, or if you really like colouring with limited colour palettes like I do, I really enjoy just sticking to certain colours, keeping them the same and using them without the image using them throughout the image they're going to work brilliantly so I'm going to go off folks I'll put the links in below to um, the Spectrum Noir website and Amazon website <clears throat> and I really hope that if you get a pen you get a set of pencils you'll let me know what your thoughts are I adore them and I'm really really honestly quite tempted to go over and get a backup set of um, the four boxes um, before everybody catches on and they're sold out so thank you so much for watching sticking with me while I ramble and play um, it was, it's, a, it's been an absolute pleasure so until we meet again really really soon take really good care of yourselves my friends bye bye